Hello, and welcome to Childless Not By Choice. This podcast was created for and about the Childless Not By Choice community on a global level. Before we get started, I would like to thank my sponsors and supporters. Thank you, Morgan Air Conditioning, Sales, Service, and Installation, serving Tampa, Florida, and the surrounding areas. Morgan Air Conditioning can be reached by calling 813-500-7765. That's 813-500-7765. Or their web address is www.morganair.net. That's www.morganair.net. Along with a stellar business reputation in the Tampa, Florida area, Morgan Air Conditioning is also known and well-received for giving back to the community, whether it is back-to-school drives or donating services to the less fortunate. Thank you, Morgan Air Conditioning, for recognizing the vision of Childless Not By Choice and being a part of it. Next, I would like to thank Alba Digital Media for creating my website, www.childlessnotbychoice.net that's www.childlessnotbychoice.net and for producing this podcast. Alba Digital Media's clients include those who need website building and maintenance as well as those like myself who require professional podcast editing. Their client base reflects many industries and levels of needs for professional assistance. To contact Alba Digital Media for your web building and podcast production needs, visit www.albadigitalmedia.com. That's www.albadigitalmedia.com. Thank you, Alba Digital Media, for making me look good and sound good. Finally, I would like to thank Devoted, the musical duo who created my theme music. Thank you, Devoted, for your beautiful music. Devoted has had the opportunity to sing and play in many countries. To contact Devoted for your music needs, visit devotedministries at gmail.com. That's devotedministries at gmail.com. And if you would like to become a one-time or ongoing sponsor, or if you would like to become a patron of Childless Not By Choice, please contact me at sevilla at sevillamorgan.com. That's Sevilla at SevillaMorgan.com for details. Now, on to the show. Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to Childless Not By Choice, where my mission is to recognize and speak to the broken hearts of Childless Not By Choice women and men around the world. Savella Morgan here. I am spreading the great news that we can live a joyful, relevant, and a fulfilled life, although we could not, did not have the children we so wanted. Welcome to episode 87. I am just so thankful that you are back once again. And I just wanted to catch up with you for just a little while here. It's just me today for this episode monologue. (laughs) And um, before we continue, let me thank my Patreon contributor. Patreon contributors are those who have taken an interest in my platform, whether they fit the childless not by choice demographic or not. They have decided to contribute a certain dollar amount on a regular basis to help fund my dream of creating awareness and conversation for the childless not by choice community globally. Click the Patreon link for details to become a patron. So the link is right there in the show notes. And uh, my Patreon is my current Patreon is one Jordan Morgan. Thank you so much, Mr. Jordan Morgan, for your patronage. It is truly appreciated. Your contribution is helping to bring awareness and uh, conversation to, for, and about the childless, not by choice demographic on a global level. Well, as I said, this is a monologue. It's just me this time around. I have had a few interviews and I hope that you have enjoyed them. In fact, I posted one interview 
out of sequence on purpose because I wanted to get it in before Mother's Day. So be sure to check out episode 86, uh, where I interviewed Mrs. Chelsea Patterson Sobolik on her new book, Longing for Motherhood. I posted that before uh, Mother's Day because I felt like it was uh, it had to be done in a timely way. And we, as childless, not by choice women, in the the month before, the month leading up to, and then in particular the week, le- the week leading up to Mother's Day can be can be tricky. It can be a little difficult because there's a little bit of dread on the one hand because um, it's like having an elephant in the room, and on the other hand, those of us who are still able to celebrate our moms, we are thankful that there is a day to celebrate the wonderful women in our lives, our wonderful moms. And um, in some cases, some of you, your moms have passed on, and so you're thinking about them in a bittersweet way. And, you know, my my heart goes out to you and uh, you're in my thoughts. Many of you I know personally have, you know, recently lost your mom. And so just know that you are in my thoughts and prayers. But uh, for those of us whose moms are still around, we're thankful for the day. We're thankful for Mother's Day and um, the fact that we get to recognize these wonderful women all around the world We call who we call mommy. But then nobody's calling us mommy. <laughs> and that's where the dread comes in of the day. Um, the, the approaching day, the typically a Sunday. Well, I think it's always a Sunday. And we wonder what to do, what not to do. Uh, every year it's the same. We just wonder, uh, wow, should I go to this event? Should I not go? How will, it, how will it look if I do not go? And so you can look back on your day yesterday, because by the time you're hearing this, it will be the day after Mother's Day 2018. And so you're looking back on the day now and wondering if you made uh, good decisions and right decisions. And all I can tell you is um, you would probably also have read the list that I put on the home page, and I'll keep it there for a little while. I'll keep it through the month of, month of May, and then it'll go into the resources tab on the website. But right now it's posted on the home page of the website. Some tips on how to navigate family get, uh, gatherings and tips on how to um, to deal with Mother's Day, basically. Um, you know, it's it's really up to us. Um, the actual uh, proper title for that uh, list that I'm talking about is Self-Care Tips for the Childless Not by Choice Woman on Mother's Day. So that can be found on the home page. It's a list of maybe 10 or 12 uh, things that you can do to take care of yourself mentally, spiritually, emotionally, as you navigate Mother's Day, and um, still do it with class. And uh, have you heard this word lately? A plum, <laughs> A-P-L-O-M-B, just having class, you know, as you deal and interact on Mother's Day. For some of us, that means that we, I, 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 I'm not, I don't go to church on Mother's Day anymore. I, I decided that a year or two ago after interviewing a, a wonderful lady whose um, episode is right here on the podcast, Mrs. Uh, Hornstein's interview. Check that out. That's where she gave me my light bulb moment because I was being so religious that I thought I had to go on Mother's Day, even though my heart was breaking when they would ask the mothers to stand and I would remain seated and uh, felt whether it was meant or not, and I'm not saying it was meant to, to, to make me feel that way, but I felt looked down on and second class when Mother's Day rolled around because I sat. I remained seated as the mom stood up and got their due recognition, whether it was a rose or a flower or a mug or whatever was being given out that particular year. And um, I, I decided after Mrs. Hornstein uh, gave me my light bulb moment that I, I don't have to go to church on Mother's Day. I don't have to be so religious after I always say that I'm not religious, I'm in relationship with my God. It's not a religious thing. And so I was just, you know, I was not doing myself any any justice by being religious. And so I, d- I decided that I don't have to go to church on Mother's Day. It doesn't make me less of a Christian if I don't go on a particular day. Because as I said, I want the moms to have their just due. I just I want them to to be recognized. They have a tough job. 
You know, being a mom is a tough job. It's uh, to me, it's the toughest job on the planet because if they're doing it right, they're raising people who will be um, interacting with with the rest of uh, civilization, <laughs> humanity. And um, if if these kids aren't raised right, you know, we can have a mess on our hands. <laughs> we can have people who don't understand authority and people who don't understand. Um, getting along with others and um, fighting fear and, you know, interacting at work in the workplace, because if they were just allowed to do whatever, and then they realize, wait, you got to go to work and you've got to know how to follow the rules and regulations at work, and you just weren't taught those as a child, then then what? You've got a harder lesson to learn. And um, it, it can be taken out on other people. You know, so I think being a mom is a tough job, but it is also a tough job to realize that you will never be a mom. And um, that means that in many cases, some people think your opinion doesn't matter, whether on a um, social level or friend level or family level or national level. They think your opinion doesn't matter because what do you know? You don't you don't have any kids. And so we have other things as childless, not by choice women that we have to deal with. And then we have this battlefield going on in our minds, that self-imposed shame, which I talk about shame as well. There's an episode called Shame here on the podcast. And um, I'll put a link to all of these episodes in the show notes. But, you know, we, we're, we're dealing with issues internally in our mind. We're having to battle negative, negative thoughts and negative feelings. And then we also have to deal with society, uh, society's norms that uh, by now we should have had children. And what's wrong with you? Well, why don't you just adopt? You know, why don't you just get over it? What's the problem? You really call that grief? Grief is when you lose someone, when, when a family member dies. And so people have all of their opinions on, um, on how we should feel as childless, not by choice women and what we should be doing about it. And, uh, you know, we don't ask, but people still tell us, <laughs> you know, so that those are things that people, when we stop to walk in another person's shoes, to, to view life from another person's point of view, which I can say that for many other things going on in society today, uh, many other subjects, but anyway, I'll stick to this. Um, when we want to and, and, and think about and consider stepping into somebody else's shoes and walking in them for a mile, we will realize that we do not have the answers for everybody else's problems and issues. We simply need to learn how to understand, to commiserate, to be quiet, and to empathize. And when we start doing that for each other, no matter what the issue I think things would be better, generally speaking. But, you know, not everybody's going to take the time to do that because they think it's hard work. It's really not. It's not hard work to empathize. It's not hard work to think about what if you were in a particular situation? What would you do? How would you feel? It's it's not hard, but people tend to think it is. So um, this is where we are. And so I just wanted to stop by and just... Let you know that I hope your Mother's Day went well. I hope that you were able to check out the resources before Mother's Day, resources being previous episodes, including Chelsea's episode on her book, Longing for Motherhood. Oh my gosh, I felt like she was like writing about me the way she wrote that book. And, and I know many of you, um, some of you in the group have already uh, told me that you found her book on Amazon. I downloaded it to my Kindle. And so I just really enjoyed reading her book from, from beginning to end. And I, I do suggest that you, you find it and check it out, especially as a childless, not by choice person and uh, reach out to her, let her know you read the book and let her know how much it helped you. Her contact information is in her episode, episode 86, but I'll put a link to that episode here as well. And so I just really want you to to know that, hey, if, if, if you, there was a misstep this past Mother's Day, if there was a misstep yesterday, <laughs> God willing, there's next year. So just prepare yourself. Be, be prepared when an event is coming, whether it's Mother's Day or anything else. There are resources all over the place 
Uh, there are so many platforms on childlessness now these days that uh, I, I didn't know. Uh, you know, there are so many and, and I needed this help so badly when I was in the beginning stages of finding out that I would not be able to have any children. And I wish they I had known about them. You know, some of them seem to have been around for a couple of years, at least one of them. And in fact, I will be interviewing this particular um, woman pretty soon. Her, her platform has been around for quite some time. But I didn't know anything about these platforms when I was searching. I just couldn't find anything. And I don't want that to be the case for you because this platform is here. Other platforms are here and I can freely mention them because this is not a competition. This is a dream come true for me when I said in the beginning, go back and listen. I said in the beginning that I want the childless not by choice demographic to have um, understanding and commiseration and a place to go and someone to talk to and someone to understand how they're feeling no matter where in the world they are. And so said, so done. It is happening because there are so many different childless not by choice platforms all over the place now, all over the the world. And uh, I've had the great opportunity to talk to some of the platform leaders in the UK, in Kenya, and um, various other places. And so, you know, just know that there are resources. Go check out the resources before your next big event, whether it's a family get together or a national holiday. Check out the resources, take them to heart. The the resource that I mentioned, um, you can still go check it out now. You can download it and keep it for your own help. You can read it daily and just know that um, I had you in mind when I wrote it. And uh, I mean these words from a positive place. And I know that if you try at least even some of these tips, you will be well prepared for the next event. So preparation is key and a positive mindset is key. Preparation, positive mindset, and just, you know, creating kind but firm boundaries. When it's time to go, when you feel it's time to leave a situation, a gathering, a get together, whatever, leave. It's okay. It's, it's not a problem. You, you are set it, setting kind but firm boundaries. So hang in there. I hope that you have a great week. And um, let me know if you have any questions or comments, any suggestions. And uh, you know that you can always email me. My contact information is in the show notes. So feel free to email me or direct message me on Facebook, direct message me on Twitter. Uh, my email address is Sevilla at SevillaMorgan.com. Again, that's in the show notes. All of that is in the show notes. You can message me on Instagram. And, um, you know, like I said, I hope you had a great day yesterday. And I, I hope that you have a wonderful week this week. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye. <music>